Hey, hey, boys and girls, this is Jiraiku coming at you on the Builder server. Just to show you what all's been going on here lately. Uh, it's been a while, little while since we had an update, so let's see what we got going on. I have a sword somewhere. Uh, is it up here? There it is. Okay, just in case we find something that, you know, needs to be dealt with. No guarantees. So, um, first things first, nothing up here has changed. This is all just how it was. I might have added the glowstone in from the other day. But, you know, we got some stuff. So, let's go see what all has changed on the server. Now, last week when I showed you all this, the amazing F.E. London had gone through and done a pretty amazing build. And I completely, totally, 100% missed something. So, let's start off over here. This was added in since the last video. This is the lumber mill area. I don't believe this was in the last video. So let's show you this first. Oh, let's change this up. Let's go look at this first. Check this out. What's going on down here? That's neat looking. Okay, auto doors. Is that XP? What is that? Or is it just green? I don't know, it looks pretty cool, whatever it is. Oh, he's got all his chest and stuff up here. All right, that looks pretty cool. He's got a little house he's working on over here. I don't even see all the hemp that he planted going down the hill here. Now, uh, this uh, hemp, it's uh, for official uses only. No recreational use whatsoever. So um, don't be trying to come on the server and be recreational. Yeah, there we go. That's my official warning to you. But then he built this amazing lumber mill and lumber farm. And check out these logs. He went through and took the time to chisel them a bit all of them how cool does that look he's got custom railings in here made out of looks like smooth stone he's got a duck down here playing in the sawmill <laughs> not a duck a chicken i'm sorry i'm gonna leave that little guy in there because i don't have you know i don't have anything to pick him up with so he'll just have to get himself out and look at the saw talk about some detail work that's just oh i didn't even look up look at that and even the thing that would Pull the saw back and forth if necessary. That is so cool. Back here, let's check the map. I don't see any, I don't see any baddies on the map. We took out the farm back here. To get all the lumber from. Now this is not our real lumber farm, of course. This is whoa. Check out the lattice work. Effie, if you're watching this, you did an amazing, amazing job at this. Dude, I'm, I'm not going to build anything else because you're just too good at it. Spruce plot. And he labeled every single plot. Again, this is not our real lumber yard. This is just, just for the build. It looks amazing. And he's got the water from the lumber mill over here. Do, 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 do. I know I could fly, but I like walking all this. He created a stream going all the way down to the river over there. Let's check this out. Uh, we moved the sugar cane farm over here to get it out of the main spawn area. Now, it does lack a little bit of realism because, you know, water is not going to flow uphill to get over here. Goodness, he went all the way down. What am I picking up? I guess I'm picking up eggs. But it goes all the way down to the river over here, which I thought was a pretty cool touch. And check that out. Even a little waterfall at the very end. That's just awesome. And apparently animals like to get in this river and get stuck because there's a cow just bobbing for himself over there. Yeah, so how awesome is that build? I'll make sure and tell Effie down in the comments what a good job he did on that. I can't wait to see what he builds this week. Because that man is just amazing at what he can do. Now over here, I went through and I tidied up the spawn area. Um, our Batania person hasn't logged on in a while so I didn't take over her area I just cleaned it all up so remember it's all spread on this green strip through here I put it all over here I built an RF tool storage thing with a level 3 card in it so it holds 300 stacks of things I put all the Batania stuff in here and then I kind of organized everything so it made more sense to me where does my mana keep going these are past Oh, I wonder if Asky changed that. Because for a while, I bet Vasky did change that. 
Let's turn this off. For a long time, leaving the portal open didn't use mana. So we just left the portal going. So I've got a spark here, a spark in each one of those, and these pools were full. So I'm wondering if he changed it so it's using mana again. Let's turn this off. And we'll just activate it when we need it from now on. There we go. So I bet you that's what's happening, because I've filled this mana pool up twice now. And I'm getting really sick and tired of it getting empty, and nobody's using it. Let's throw some melon juice in there, because i got nothing else on me right now. I redid the, the hovering hourglass timer. Wow. I redid the hourglass timer so it, it'll still work, but it doesn't look quite as ugly as just dirt floating in the air. So it works out. Yeah, but we've got everything arranged now, so there's an on-off switch for the catalyst. So I can flick that, and it's a regular mana pool. Flick it again, and the yellow catalyst is up under it. You can see it right there. I just haven't gone back and done the um, facade to cover this up. But then I put the mana spreader over here so that it could literally aim from anywhere it wanted to. And hit all the different blocks. So it can hit the enchanter. It can hit the runic altar, and it can hit the terrestrial, terrestrial agglomeration plate. All just by aiming it. So that works out pretty good. We've got the thing that scares away creepers, the tiger's eye. And the thing that just keeps all mobs away. So there's now a, a hidden circle. You can't see it because I don't have all my, all my tools. But it keeps any mobs from getting close to this. So that's pretty cool. Kind of like the interdiction torch from uh, Reliquary. Reliquary. Uh, we read, JC and I redid the mine entrance, because remember it was like right here, going down. I didn't care for it too much, because it was, it was really, really cool when we got started, but then as I started redoing spawn, who wants to have just a massive dirt mound leading down to the ground? So we built this. The mine is still the same down here. It's still identical. We just changed the ground a little bit. And then I redid all this. Remember the tons of storage crates and all that we've had forever basically ever since the night we set up the server there has been just a pile of chests and storage stores so i went a little bit different this time i've never built this before but i figured this would be awesome for spawn leveled off this entire area made this really cool column here and i'm using what is this rf tool screens there's a screen controller buried in here along with an rf tools power cell that operates all these so I've got, let's see, there is empty hand there. Come on, come on, mouse, come on, mouse. There we go. I've got two to three text cards in every single one of these. I'll show you what goes inside the modular storage. All, every one of these, there's eight modular storage machines. Each one has a level three card in it. Uh, this one stores all the rocks, all the dirt, saplings, seeds, and plants. All the wood and wood items, so not just like logs and planks, but fences and buttons and all kinds of other stuff. All the weapons we pick up from fighting things, so I don't have any on me. And then random stuff. Right, this is vanilla only miscellaneous, so zombie flesh and eggs can, no, eggs don't go in there. Let's see, what else do I have? I do have some, some wood, so I can stick the wood in there. I got some dirt on me that I can stick over here. And this is different from my personal storage. And that this is public for spawn. Anybody who comes on the server can use this. And you notice there's no cobblestone up there. Because cobblestone goes in here and blue slimy dark goes in here. I mean, my tool tips don't work quite right, but you get the idea. And this has a void upgrade on it. So you can dump cobblestone into it forever in empty inventory. And it won't fill up. I also put a diamond upgrade so it holds a bunch of stuff. That's not too shabby. Then we, we've updated the server this past weekend and added a new mod called Waste Stones. Now what this thing does, it, it has these nifty particle effects. Man, that looks pretty cool. So I built up this little pillar thing. The only thing that's actually from the mod is this guy right here. When you build it, it shapes under two blocks like this. Let's do this. And clear the weather. I don't want any zombies or creepers coming up on me. And then you build these and you put one anywhere you want to be able to warp. And then you make yourself a warp stone. So a warp stone is this. 
You hold it, and it tells you where all you can go. So, like, we can go out to Mello's place. And it takes you out to his workshop. So this is his. Well, let's take a look at all the stuff he's been building, and let's kill a couple things while we're at it, just to help him a little bit. Yeah, dude, time for you to go back in the ground. So he's been building some pretty cool looking things out here. Like this is an entire chiseled and bricked capacitor bank. Um, what's he using out here? 118 million. So there's a lot of capacitors in there. I don't know if those are fives or 25s because I didn't see him build it. But he chiseled and bricked them all in like this. There's more over here. Those are all getting power from various water wheels. What does this say? He's watch Papa Pink Falsa. I don't know what that means. Apparently he's got a plan to do something with it. Alright, this bow was more powerful. I'm not sure what happened to it. Let's take it straight home. There's a bunny rabbit, okay. Yeah, I mean, look at this base he's building out here. It's it's just amazing to me. It's got four water wheels for power, plus this whole water wheel house, I guess you call it. And this is not like an Unstoppable where there's a mob farm inside of there. Like a spawned one that was just there. This It's just dark and the water keep, keeps pulling out creatures. So it's kind of a questionable place to go. It looks like he leveled, not leveled, but... um tear from the river to make it stuff for, make it tough for stuff to get out of there. Some days I speak English, today is apparently not that day. Okay. Remove art add bridge. Oh, okay, I see what he's doing. He's putting out signs so he knows where he's gonna build. That's pretty nifty. The warrant, so evidently he's got something planned for down here. The witch. Let's take care of her for him. Bam. Okay. He has got his, his house over here. What is this? That's probably his little hovel where he got started at. Check out the whoa. Whoa. Dude, this is amazing. I'm almost cussing because I'm in such shock over how good this looks. I came out here two nights ago and I didn't look anything like this. I mean, look at this. That's Deku Craft. I don't know if Deku Craft made those things. But look at the wagon. Oh my lord. Somehow or another, has got a horse trapped inside of there. I'm guessing there's extra blocks to keep it in. With the immersive engineering storage crates. Man, I'm beginning to believe I'm the worst builder on the server. Who's that? Looks like a hammer and I don't know what it is. Let's go see what's in here now. No way, he's got hidden pressure plates? Check that out. That's pretty cool. Got himself a fire going on. Whoa, what is that? This little... He created this entire pillar himself, it looks like. Whoa. Let's go upstairs first and we'll go downstairs. Alright, this is just ridiculous. There's no other word for it. It's just ridiculously amazing. Wow. I am seriously in awe of what he's done here. He's even got a dresser. <laughs> Yeah, I've got, I'm definitely going to step my game up if I'm going to continue to play on the server. Because while I've got an entire town, it's nothing like this. Let's go stand here real quick. What is this? Oh, his dragon egg mill. We let him have the dragon after I killed it. Apparently this is just a stinker set up because I don't see anything else down here. It's a gigantic smelter, though. How big is this thing? Uh, what do you dump stuff into it? Did I miss it? Oh, duh, right there. 
right there. Okay. That's pretty big. Four buckets of lava. I guess he's got something up there. I don't know where he dumps it in. Maybe he just reaches up there and puts it in. Man, he's done some stuff in here, hasn't he? Make sure to leave him some comments too, telling him what you like to build. Okay, let's go see what else we got here. Little bunny. Hey, little bunny. And from what uh, JC told me, this entire thing was a snow plane. So Mello apparently planted every one of these trees out here that's covered in snow. That's some dedication right there, boys and girls. Look at all these trees out here. None of these were here before. And he just planted them because he wanted a forest. That's pretty cool, too. I love the streams mod. How it makes all the rivers and stuff flow into each other. That's just really cool. Okay, let's see if this thing's off cooldown yet. Yeah. This thing has a cooldown on it. By default, I think it was five minutes. But JC is supposed to set it to I want to go show you what JC has done at the Blaze Farm, or at the, um, yeah, the Blaze Farm, because y'all saw that in the last video, how he'd started on it. What's the cooldown now? Yeah, he's, he reset the cooldown to be one minute. Okay, Bayberry Seed. Oh, that's from the candle. Yeah, check out Spawn now. Oh, before I go show you that, I started working over here now. I figured I'd take advantage since I've got Blood Magic so far. So far advanced. Um, this is a potato crop, just, you know, simple three by three. Underneath it, I have the ritual of somebody. Let's see. Ritual of the green grove. So these things are getting like a permanent bone mill effect. And I'm going to start feeding potatoes into there because potatoes can be used to do that. And it'll, I'll get the most bang for my buck this way. And I don't, I don't understand the ritual tinker, tinkerer yet for Batania. So for me, that's the easiest way to go with it. Just gonna take this out while we're here. Now, if you're wondering why we never did this before, this didn't exist before. I put all this dirt down last night. I made a rod of the lands from Batania and placed all this dirt down because I got so tired of this being just wide open. And apparently, I forgot to light it up. Oop. You're gonna die, buddy. And so are you. Wow, okay. That was a good shot. And I just got so tired of having to fly up here and like brand new people to the server. I couldn't get up here unless I teleported them up. So, problem fixed. Now we've got a path on both sides of it. And it looks not natural, obviously, but it looks better than it did. Now it's not just floating in the air with no support. So I like the way this came out better. So let's go take a look at the new and improved mob farm. Because uh, JC2XS, the creator of this mod pack, I spent the better part of a week making this thing look even better than it did before, and it already looked fantastic. But you are going to be blown away. Now, this entire staircase is chiseled wood. You've seen that before. I've seen all the bricks and all the lanterns and stuff going down. Here's where it gets different. Ah. There's a new hallway. Well, there's two ways to get to this. We're going to start down here. And we're going to take a peek back here, just so you can see. He went old school. He did traditional redstone wiring. Now granted, there's redstone conduit to get to the other places. But for the main way this works, you know, we're not going to touch any of this. Because I don't know how to fix it if I, if I mess it up. And I think he would kill me if I messed it up. Because he spent so long down here. But this is the crusher delay loop. All these things are set to various ticks. Looks like four ticks in all of them. Uh, the master on-off switch. I think he called this an RS latch, redstone latch. Because this will pulse the piston to push that forward and turn this thing on. And I like to make that redstone and turn this on and do some other stuff. Create a, a single pulse. Okay. What is this over here? Dropper. This must be a timer of some sort. Got that going on. He's got everything color-coded. Spawner on off. There's another timer. And he just did some amazing things there. It took him forever to do it. But you can tell by the little bit of detail. This is where they end up. 
So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna take a look at this because there's still two more levels to this. I can't believe what a good job he did on this. It's just amazing. So originally this was it. You can come up here and watch the blazes spawn, and that's there's nothing special about that spawner. That's not like a restarb spawner or anything. That's just a plain old spawner. And he used a wand like this, a moving wand, to pick it up in the nether and bring it here. That's it. So you couldn't do that part in vanilla. But all the rest of the, everything else you saw downstairs, you could. So he's got that going on. He's got the pressure plates with the repeaters to set off pistons to push things. So like when these things spawn out, they hit a pressure plate and get pushed. And they hit a pressure plate and get pushed. It's, uh, I think he told me this was inspired by Etho. And if you've ever seen Etho's original nether hub, then you kind of get the idea. Now let's see, there's no button in here because this one's just an observation platform. Okay, let's go up here again. And I'll take a little bit of credit here because it was my idea to put in the top viewer. Originally, this was all hidden away. And I'm like, this better. Let's turn off the weather. That thunder's getting annoying in my ears. I don't know how loud it is for y'all. So I'm like, it'd be really cool to stand up here and be able to see it. And then he told me a couple hours later, he's like, Jay, come look. And I came over here and looked and Bam, he did it. It's amazing. So if I hit this button, this will turn it on. So let's hit the button. And it, that flips some pistons up here, which turn off the lava. So as the lava goes down, the light level decreases and makes it so vanilla mechanics take over. So there we go. The blade's going down, and nothing automatically dies. This is so that you can level up your tool. So you can level up you know, your, your pick and your sword and your bow and all the other stuff. So we'll, we'll let a few of these get down here because this is an AFK room. It's meant, it's designed for you to hit the button and just you know, open your inventory and walk away for a bit. So we're gonna let it do its thing for a few minutes and I'll go downstairs and I'll show you what else it does. I don't like standing in that platform as much because you don't see as much. I love standing in this got the glass here too. This is custom glass that he made to prep the lava exactly where he wanted, wanted it to be. You see up there the doorway. Those will open back up when I hit the button. Let's see. That'll be good enough. I don't need the lava right now. I hit that button, those doors open up and the lava comes back down. And then as the lava goes down, the light levels increase to the point to where no more blazes can bomb because it's too bright. Clean old vanilla mechanics. Nothing difficult about that. The way he did it's amazing, but it's not difficult. And then when the lava hits those white squares in the corner, the pressure plates keep the lava from going over there and messing with them. So now I've got a bunch of blazes down there. Let's go down. That'll give them all a push to get them back in the middle. We'll push. There we go. Let's see if I touch too much of the break, at least we can spawn more. I don't want to leave anybody in. Oh, okay, I'll spawn another one. Let's go down here. We're getting to be enough doorway, so I've got to look and see where I'm going. Right here. So the blazes here. The blazes cannot hit you. What you want to do is hit this button one time. Make sure they're all down here. Hit this button. And this crushes them back away so you can drink. That crushes them for I think 15 seconds. When we get closer, okay, now watch this. So they're all down to half part. It's a uh, right. And I got some blaze rocks out of that, which was not the intention. But also got some XP out of it. Yeah, there's another one up there. Let's see. Come on, dude. Come down. Come on, dude. Looks like he's getting pushed around. So if I push him down. There they come. I think that was another one. 
I hit my sword sharp enough to one hit a blade, so that's not good. I guess those do spawn after all. I have to ask Jason if it works. But still really good. Really. I know we still have the regular mob farms down here. Now we are looking for more people to play on the server. So if you're interested in a long-term build, this is not some like regular infinity to where you get on here and you just build and build and build and build and like you go by unlimited power and all that. We have very few power options. Let's see if to be home me. Uh, okay. Oh, wrong server. Okay. There we go. So if you if you want to be somebody who comes on and builds things, kind of like I built up this town, JC's built up that underground layer, like Mellow's building his stuff, and Effie's building the whole thing out there for us, then by all means we want you on here. Uh, if you look in the FTB forums. In the showcase forum, you'll see a thread for this video. And if I think about it, I'll leave a link. Come in there and let us know you're interested in playing, and either myself or JC will get in touch with you and tell you how to join the curse group and then how you can get on and play on the server with us. We'd love to have you on here. And if you're loving how this is going, make sure and hit that like button. That way I know you like it, and I'll keep on making videos. If you like it a lot, then we'll start doing you know two a week instead of one a week. You're loving it, go ahead and subscribe. We finally hit my goal of 100 subscribers yesterday. So that's amazing to me. I'm like overjoyed and happy about that. Um, and if you really, really like it, share this with other people you know. I'd love to have more and more people watching this. Because the more that watch it, the more I know want to watch it, and the happier I get. Can we drink all the juice over here? Yeah. Guys, that's going to be it for today. So stay tuned. Um... Sorry I missed yesterday's goal. Usually I do this on Sunday. What happened right there? That's random. That's very random. Okay. I missed, I missed my Sunday thing because yesterday was the Super Bowl. and I live in Georgia, so I had to watch and see the Falcons lose another Super Bowl. That's just kind of what they do. But normally this will be uploaded on Sunday afternoons. So take a look at it. Tell me what you think. And I will see you... Later.